The EMS shortage in North Dakota is impacting several lives from longer response times to short staff teams. Emergency crews at times are left overwhelmed. KX News' Corbin Warnock shares what some small towns are doing to try and fix the problem. Leaders of the ND EMS Association say to fix a problem, we need to first understand why we have a problem in the first place. When it comes to our EMS shortage, they have some reasons why. Some of our, our more rural areas losing population, and as they lose population, they lose people that are volunteering for the, for the services. And losing volunteers means more waiting. When you call 911, an ambulance is going to come, um, but the, with, the, with the shortage of providers starting to spread across the state, it may not be your local ambulance service. It could be a neighboring town that has to wait, so everybody's gonna be affected by the, the shortage that we see. When you volunteer for EMS, you volunteer your time. You need to be available for emergencies hours on end. Also, balancing family life with this public service is not easy, but exposing communities to these services is necessary. One of the things that we're working on right now is trying to bring that education down there and make it more accessible to the rural areas um, and trying to get more buy-in um, so more people can be trained to a, to a higher level so they can provide a lot more care while we're waiting for transport. On the southeast side of the state, they have more resources like this than the west side. It is, it is pretty common down there on that side as well where you have a lot of your fire districts um, that have quick response units or they, you just have a standalone quick response unit which they don't transport but they show up and treat until an ambulance service can show up and, and transport them and they hand off care. Small communities have to transport clients to a major hospital which can take more than one hour and during emergencies time is not on their side. But it's volunteers from our rural communities that become heroes in those terrifying moments. We know they're out there, but we just need more of them. Reporting for KX News, I am Corbin Warnock. Emergency crews on average respond to around 30 million 911 calls every year in the United States.